Harford County, Maryland State Police are searching for up to three people who were reportedly swept away by swift water. Harford County is one of the hardest hit areas dealing with flooding. This is video of severe flooding in Darlington. You can see the massive amounts of water rushing around this man's home. And this was the scene earlier tonight. Let's take a look in West Baltimore. A car trapped in some high water along Wilkins Avenue and Ventilou Street. The driver did make it out okay. And along I-295 near Waterview Avenue, the roads, they look more like rivers. Take a look at that. That's just incredible. And WJZ is live with team coverage of this severe weather. Abajoy Burnett is in Hartford County where she got an update from state police. Abajoy? Just seconds ago, Mayor, we got an update from state police, and here's what we know right now. Officials here in Harford County are looking for up to three people who may have been swept away by fast moving flood waters. At six o'clock or sometime thereafter, this afternoon, officials say there was a car that was trapped on James Run Road near Route 136. There are two people who were trapped against uh, the water that was raging, and they were on a bridge. And officials tell us that there was another vehicle that came up. They they tried to help. There was a good Samaritan who hopped out of that truck to try to help. And they tell us that that lady was swept away by the fast moving waters. And a little while after that, the vehicle that was there in the first place, that vehicle was also swept away. So we're talking about three people now who officials are still looking for at this moment. We just spoke with state police. Here's what they had to say. This is, I mean, we're searching obviously to find out uh, where the. Um any potential victims may be. There's been water rescues uh, at various points throughout the county um, as, as, as what, uh, the rain has come through. Is this a, still a search and rescue situation? At, at this point, we're, you know, obviously hoping, you know, for the best, um, but it's, you know, it's, it, we're, we're hoping for the best at this point in time. And before I let you go, Ron, what advice do you have for people? They were on a bridge, maybe didn't think it was dangerous. You know, these types of, of weather situations, you know, we've seen it all too often in, in, in the summer, happen very fast. It's very simple. It's when possible, turn around, don't drown. I mean, it doesn't take much water for a vehicle to be swept away, for a person to be swept away. Um, again, you know, try to keep an eye on the weather forecast if possible when you stay off the roads. If you think that you, even there's a, a, a chance that you might not be able to get through that water, um, just turn around and, and try to be as safe as possible. And we want to show you some video of just how hard hit Harford County was. This is some video that a viewer sent to us from Darlington. And in this, it was on Arena Road. The water came up so quickly, you could hear the person in the video saying that they'd never seen anything like this before. There was someone who was trapped in a home. You could hear the sirens in the background as people came out to try to help this individual. Officials are telling us before this recent update that there were no reported injuries, just quite a few rescues, more than two dozen of them and just a few moments ago officials also told us here from Maryland State Police that they found a vehicle but at this moment they cannot confirm if there is anyone inside. We're live tonight in Harford County. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.